Michelle, we'll start with you. Okay. Why do you think the Ant-Man movies resonate with audiences around the world? Well, um, I think they, they uh, not only are they, you know, they have a lot of action and adventure and fantasy, but there's also a lot, there's so much heart. And I think that's sort of, uh, and the humor in, well, and it's really smart. Um, I think, and it, it, it in, in some ways, Ant-Man feels like a genre all its own. It feels different than other superhero movies. Um, so I think that's, it, it's new and it's fresh and it's unexpected. The characters are, are, are really based in reality, but they're s set in this fantasy world. Um, and it sort of probably just taps into everyone's desire to be a superhero. Um, yeah. When Janet returns from the quantum realm of after 30 years, what is she like, and how does that impact her relationship with her daughter, Hope? Well, she was, Janet has been down in the quantum realm for 30 years, and I, I think at a certain point, um, really um, uh, had doubts that she would ever leave the quantum realm. And um, I think when she is reunited with um, her husband, Hank, and her her daughter Hope, um, it's, you know, it's just like a dream come true and I think she's just relishing, you know, and savoring every moment with them. Um, and yet, um, you know, she's decided, she's decided to um, really um, keep a lot of the details of what went down there in fact, mostly everything that went down there a secret. Um, um, some of it out of shame, some of it out of a desire and a need to, to protect her family. Um, and then, uh, when they find themselves all together down in this parallel universe, uh, she is really forced to um, not only try to keep her family alive, but um, to, uh, you know, you know, tell the truth about things, and um, in a place where she never, ever had hoped to see again. Michael, describe the relationship between Janet and Hank, and how does that carry over to the quantum realm? Well, I guess you have to break up the relationship with Janet and Hank into different sections. There was the sections when the first Ant-Man, when they were both a team working together and fighting the evils of the world and, and uh, were married at the same time, partners in crime and, and, and working together. And then you have a 30-year separation, um, which we don't know without having any contact between each other as to what, what actually went down. And then this, this time now, when they're back together again, and although quantum mania doesn't really get into much of the relationship about how they're getting along or how they're getting before, this incident happens that takes us on this, on this journey back into the quantum, the quantum realm, um, you can get a sense that they are equals. This is a, a woman, my wife, who suffers no idiots. Um, very bright. Uh, I think we have a kind of a professional relationship, mutual respect, but like to kind of give everybody the, a little bit of the, a little, a little zeist once in a while, you know, just a little bit of an edge uh, to keep it all, keep it all going. And who knows, uh, I think that this whole experience of being down there has brought them, with all the years of absence, has brought them closer together than they'd ever had been before. Michelle, describe how you and Michael were able to bring that special relationship to life. How were we able to bring it to life? Acting? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean uh, that's kind of what we do, um, is we, uh, we, um, we, you know, sort of work together to develop this relationship and bring reality to it. I bring my 
my life, my of being married to my husband for for 30 years, and um, Michael brings you know his experience and um, yeah, and then you know I mean it helps we like each other you know um, I think we have um, uh, we both have been around a long time and. Um, uh, I, did, I, did, I don't find our, 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 our approach to acting different and you know sometimes it can people can have such very such a very different approaches to acting it can maybe sort of you know get in the way of each other uh, but uh, no it was fun.